Hi, and welcome back to Air Engine Research. Okay, this is my setup that I put together to work on ideas that I have and try to show you how these things work. In the past, I have always used single cylinders that would push one way only. But since this is a new year, and a new day and I'm gonna have new ideas so using double acting cylinders will change a lot of the way I do things a double acting cylinder is one that if you put the air in this it pushes the cylinder that way if you put the air in here it pushes the cylinder open so when you get to this point, as it goes past center, then this will start pulling, which will give you a push and a pull at the same time. And as it passes this point, the next one starts pulling in, and this one starts pulling in, and this one starts pushing. This one is just kind of neutral for right at the moment. But once you get past a certain point, see there it's starting to push in already. So it's pulling at that point. So now we've got this one pushing. This one is kind of neutral now. And this one, well, up to this point, it it's, it's stops get past that point now it's starting to push this one is going that way so it's pulling this one is going that way so it's pulling so you've got three of them at the same time pulling to make this rotate around Each one only travels about an inch and a half to two inches, maybe. Whereas if this was on a crankshaft, it would be going twice as far on each cylinder. So an eccentric is using about half as much air as what a regular crankshaft engine would use. I'm going to try to set up different combinations on positioning of the, the four valve or the four cylinders. And also, I might try eliminating one or two and see what happens with my push and pull. I think. I might be able to get it to work on just two cylinders. I'll have to try. But this way I've, I've got the option. I can move things around, take them off, and see kind of what I can come up with. These are inch and a half by supposed to be four inch stroke. I have two cylinders coming that are inch and a quarter and eight inch stroke. So I could go with a four inch crankshaft if I decide that's better at some point than using an eccentric. I would be able to figure the torque on a on a four inch crankshaft, so I would be able to determine how much power that has. This one, I'd have to hook up some kind of a thing and use maybe a, a scale or something to, to determine how much pull and torque it would have. That 
wouldn't be too hard to do. I could put up a pulley system or something that goes around and goes down and hooks onto the uh, the drive shaft at the bottom with a say a six inch extension or a six inch pulley and see how much pull it would have compared to the eccentric and the four inch arm. But that's something I'll work on as time goes by. I've got the valves made for some of the parts that would sit on top like so and they would be driven by how much the cylinder goes back and forth it would open and close. There would have to be one on each side, naturally. When the cylinder moves that way, this would be the exhaust valve because it's coming this way. And when the cylinder is on this side, pushing, this would be the intake letting air in on this side of the cylinder. On the exhaust side, this would be open. But like I said, there's got to be four valves for each cylinder if you're going to have a double action. These two on this side here when it comes this way, it would have this one hooked to the exhaust hole. This one would be hooked to the intake hole. And as they both open, that lets air come in and it lets the, this part of the cylinder has a, it has a piston in the middle and that piston goes back and forth. So in order to push it that way, you have to have and the exhaust coming out of here. But in order to use it as a double, you would have to have two sets on both sides. So when the cylinder moves that direction, it would open this as an intake. On this side, this would be the intake here. This one would be hooked to the exhaust. So when it went that away, both would be open to let air in and let the exhaust come out through that hole. Otherwise, if you tried to push against that piston with this closed, it won't move. I hope that explains it a little bit. Uh, I've thought about this a lot. I can imagine it and I know what I want it to do and I know what I need to make in order to have it do it. But it will take a lot of timing and tinkering to do it. Hope it's not too confusing, but as I work on it, I'll make some more videos and you you can see what I change as I'm doing it, I'll keep you posted. One other thing I might mention, uh, in the past I've used quarter inch high pressure lines all the time. These were going to be 3 8 OD high pressure lines with quarter inch pipe fittings, so with the bigger cylinders I needed to go with a little larger intake and exhaust lines. Later on once I start working on this I'll probably use my pressure flow regulator that, that I built for controlling the high pressure air down to a lower pressure 
I did a couple of videos on that. You might want to check that out. It explains the uh, use of it, the operation, and also the uh, safety features that I built into it. So if something goes wrong within the system, it's got a pop-off that automatically closes the 5,000 PSI valve to keep any anything from blowing up out here. Like I say, I've got 169 other videos that I produced and some of them explain some of the use of how an eccentric works and different perspective on a lot of things. For now, uh, I think I want to do a little more study on the positions of the of the cylinders to to get the most overlap. It's 50 degrees in here, so it's not real pleasant to work on this cold metal, but I might hang around for a little while yet and just kind of look at it and think about which would maybe be the best way. But I just wanted to let you know that I've got a setup here that I'm going to be working on to try to figure out the best results without actually trying to build something first. So until next time, thank you for checking in and any new subscribers, if you're interested in what I'm doing or first time viewers, if you would please subscribe, check the little notification bell at the top there and you'll be notified whenever I put out any new videos. I do have 169 other videos that I've made over the last 18 or years or so that you might be interested in going back and looking at. Some of them are a lot different. Some of them work pretty well. Some of them didn't work quite so well. But I had a lot of fun and I come up with a lot of unique ideas which makes life enjoyable. So, till next time, thanks for checking in again.